Welcome to C++ Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about constructors. Now, constructors are used in C++ classes to initialize the object. So let's jump into the coding and see how we would use a constructor and what's its purpose. In code blocks, we will open a new empty file. We will save this file and we will open, um, name this constructor.cpp. And we will start off with including, oops, including our basic input and output stream. So hash include IO stream. We will say using namespace std and we will declare our main function and return zero. We will save this and build and run to check if the application executed successfully and there's no errors. Great. So we can continue. So we will create a class of that will be called student. And this class will have a public and a private section. And inside our class, oops, don't press that, we will have a variable for the name of the student, we will have a uh, student number, let's make it in capital letters, student number, and we will have a six, correct. And then also in public, we will have a display function and this display function will just display all the variables in the class. So void display will be called like this. We're not going to create now set and get functions for each one of these three private variables. But what we will do is we will create now a constructor. Now a constructor is used to initialize the object and its variables. So how would we use a constructor to initialize this object or specifically now these three variables when it's created? So we will say student and a constructor's name is the same as the class name. So we will say student and we will say round brackets because it's a function, a constructor is a function and we will then tell this constructor to initialize the name to something. We will say the student number will be for now in the beginning zero and the six will be nothing. So we are actually initializing each of these variables to nothing. Remember when we create this class and we um, have not yet set with a set function these variables to certain values they might contain some previous memory um, values so we need to initialize them to make sure they are zero and with the display function we can then say see out the name Oops. the name is name in line we can say c out student num 
is student num and we can say uh, c out six is six in line. So what we can do is now if we have set and get functions for this class let's create a set and a get for the name so we can create a set so set name and it will contain a string as the parameter and we will say name is equal to a Oh, and we can also just create set it would be quickly to do it set num and we will say int a open and close brackets brackets num is equal to a and the same for set set the six and that would be male or female and that would also have a char. Well, let's just ah, curly brackets. And we will say the six of the student is also A. Now we are setting each of these variables to specific values. So if we go and then create an object of type student and we say student one the constructor will then run when the object is created and that's the purpose of a constructor when the object is created the constructor will run without us calling it so a constructor will always run whenever the a object of that type class and specifically student is created if we create a uh, object of type student this constructor will run when we create it and this is where we create it so now if we call the display function and we say student student one dot display And we run this most probably oh we just need to put something there let's say in for none and we run this you will see that the name is nothing the student number is zero and the six is none but now if we then go and say student one dot set name to be equal to chain student one dot set student number is equal to one two three and student one to be set to the six to be female for instance and then if we call the display function we will see that we just need to run this again student one dot set name oh sorry for that that's a easy mistake I did not focus there. Remember, we are calling a function. We are calling a function. So we are sending this as parameters, not setting. So, first off, when we create the object, when we create the object, student one, the name is zero or nothing, the number is zero, and the sex is none. 
and then we set the name and the student number and the sex and then we have Jane 123 female and then when we call the display function we get Jane 123 in F and that's the purpose of a constructor we do not have to do this whole part every time when we want to initialize variables that are private we have a constructor function that we can use whenever this object is created whenever an object of type student is created this constructor will run automatically we do not call that constructor it runs so if we declare a constructor we assume that that constructor will always execute that function will run so that's it thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon